doing so good evening the land of god are coming at you and i have a special guest a couple of special guests here all the way from down in west palm beach came up to visit the garden and uh if you don't mind introduce yourself sir sergio all right that's sergio mango expert grafting expert and there's his father all righty they came up to visit us and sergio has been gardening for a long long time he's actually been on on camera down at truly tropical and down with chris and all and he's up here good guy he's been very supportive of the youtube channel and uh he's up here to show me about some gardening and uh this is going to be a very very awesome experience very awesome Sorry, that's okay that's okay um so i've had these budwoods these uh pieces of budwood these scions for about three weeks mm -hmm. i haven't had a chance to to graft mm -hmm. so i have a little bit of dieback on this kassar mm -hmm. scion so i'm gonna try to save what i can to save the green and I cut the buddy tape in half to try to save it okay. a little bit more. But it's very easy to wrap it, just stretch it and wrap it right over. And if it tears, it's fine. You can always go back right over it and mm. redo it. And that is the buddy tape? This is the buddy tape. Okay. And parafilm works uh, in the same way, but it's not as stretchy. Yeah. And I, I find um, buddy tape seems to be a lot better. A lot better. Okay. Okay. Um, Awesome. I brought some some signs of my own, so I'm gonna wrap those from the bottom up. I'll show right. you the same way. Wrap them from the bottom up. Awesome. This is Kathy exciting. And Bess. Ooh, Kathy. Yes. And what else? And Bess. Bess. Bess is a truly tropical exclusive. Okay. Okay. Definitely phenomenal. All right. That's Kathy and Bess. Bess. It's amazing that he knows the name without even having tags on them. That was me. I'd be lost all over the place. <laughs> Again, this is the Orlando Gardener coming at you, and I'm just so glad that Sergio and his father would take the time out to come up and come over and show us grafting techniques how to use buddy tape, how to use pair of film. This is just wonderful. As the guy that introduced me to dealing with mangoes, Mr. Mr. Reed told me people of the earth are awesome people. You meet some really, really good people when you deal with people that garden and plant and you know, or at least come from it. Even if you don't garden anymore or plant, if you come from it, they're just really good, solid people. And that is awesome. So I'm gonna let him kind of describe what he's doing. Right. I'm just uh, stretching out the buddy tape and uh, finishing up, wrapping up the scion. You wanna go all the way up, making sure there's contact on every part of the buddy tape as you go up. Mm. You don't want to leave any budwood exposed, that way you don't lose any moisture in the budwood, that way it doesn't die prematurely before it, it takes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go back over. So not losing any moisture is critical. Yes. And when you see the buds swelling out like that, that's the perfect time for, for taking budwood. Okay. I took... I cut this back about a week two weeks ago okay awesome cover them right over with the buddy tape and they'll push right through when they're ready mm. wow that is awesome this is the awesome. other thing you want to watch is on when the buds are swelling out uh -huh. watch uh the edges of the buddy tape not to to cut them oh when okay. you wrap them right right off the top by giving it an extra stretch like that 
Awesome. Very easy. Mm -hmm. And then I always go back and double check because I found a little spot that I missed. Mm -hmm. Grab a little, just a quick piece and just go back over. You don't want to have anything exposed, otherwise wow. you, you will lose moisture. And now I know why I had problems. <laughs> <laughs> now I know. Now I understand. No one has had the battle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one more really quickly with Kathy. Since Kathy is a little bit bigger, I'm going to use the, the whole piece of body tape. Okay. Miss Kathy. Awesome. Awesome. You will find a spot on one of these trees and put it right there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I tell you, y'all, this is going to be just an awesome, awesome, awesome experience here. Looking at this, experiencing. Dealing with grafting. How's your uh, by expert? How's the weather here? Is it dry? Does it tend to be dry or, or wet? Mm, a little drier. At least you do a lot better though. Yeah. Especially Kathy. Okay. That's um, according to what Har and uh, Miss Marla said on. Yeah. On the video. Okay. Super easy. Only thing you need with um, right around the buds. Knock down the buds, you can kill the bud wood. I was surprised when I saw that. Yeah. He's out. Tools of the trade. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ambled pruners. These are way different from the ones that you get at Home Depot. Oh. And this dude is ready. So these are the ones that you find normally. These mm -hmm. are the special ones so you can get in and get nice flat cuts. Okay. Awesome. Nice angle cuts. Alrighty. That depends on what you get. Uh, and since the budwood's a little bit older, mm -hmm. um, it's usually better to go lower but okay there's a little bit more thickness up top for uh of it uh a cleft graft the only the only thing with that i don't want to do it because it has uh new shoots it looks like it has new shoots getting ready to shoot out right here mm -hmm. so what you want to do it on another plan or or on another tree or i might just do a, a side cleft instead of just the regular cleft so a regular cleft, you split it down the middle and you stick it in between and you wrap the, the buddy tape with, right. with the nursery tape. The side cleft is the same thing except um, over to towards the side. On the side, okay. Before I do that, I'm going to take off the buds here. That way they don't take all the energy from from the bud wood, uh, from the sign that I'm going to graft on. To. Okay. We'll have to go back. You have to go back and double check to make sure that uh, when this one sprouts out, that it doesn't uh, take energy from this one. Okay. So carefully, um, you have to watch your cuts. You want to get nice, straight, even cuts. Okay. And that's the I found that's the best way to get them to take. All right. Nice, straight, even cuts. Okay. And I look at the budwood, it sprouts out this way. So I want to try to match it up with the tree the same way. easy just to go like this find where you where, where you're gonna make your cut mm -hmm. and then pull the knife and instead of pulling the, the budwood 
because that's how I cut myself the last time. Mm. I'll just go straight up. Mm. And then I'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. I'll just go straight up. Um, it has a little bit of dead wood and you want to cut that off. Okay. Anything that's brown is no good. It's everything will be green and alive. Right. If it seems a little bit harder, I'll try to go from the bottom of the blade towards the top. Okay, nice clean cut. Um, you want to make sure that your tools are sterile as well. I try to hit them with rubbing alcohol to disinfect them regularly. Okay. And that goes for uh, your grafting knife and your, your all your grafting tools, your pruners. Okay. I'm just, sorry, I'm just trying to get all this dead wood off. These are bad. No waves at all. No waves. Waves are not good for for them to take. Okay. Ready. Straight side. I'm gonna try to use this to, to graph. Okay. Um, you could use this, or you could use a, a, a straight razor blade. Razor blades um, seem to work really well for Chris. Okay. Um, they seem to work really well if you don't uh, know how to work with a beveled edge, because this um, comes at a, at an angle. Yeah, see that? That's different. So, to keep that from going into the budwood, I want a straight cut. I'm just gonna use that back end and go straight down. And I hold both ends of the knife that way I don't cut myself. But I've already done that. Hmm. You need me to hold a tree? Oh you you could. Oh yeah you could. This is awesome. Ooh, that thing makes some straight cuts. So I'll just try to split it. Man, I'm gonna get this grafting down. Yes, you will. I certainly appreciate you coming out here. Okay, so I have good news and bad news. Bad news is the side clef is not going to work because it's a little too thick. Okay. So I'm going to try to go from where it's at to a clef. Just a little bit deeper. Started at the side and I'm going to a regular cleft. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the top on just mm -hmm. to have that little flap for a connection. Oh wow, that's that's right in there. But I'm gonna cut the bud wood. Okay. That way it doesn't take the energy from the uh the side. Leave that and then leave a little flap to hold on to. I'm gonna grab buddy tape. Buddy tape. 